almost 10 years after its initial release in 2007, we're finally getting a remaster of this legendary game. That feeling when you're Activision and you have this gem in your arsenal for remastering the near future, they couldn't really find better time for this remaster to be released, but as a standalone game. Instead, it's bundled with one of the most hated games of all time, Infinite Warfare. I don't know, it's just not how you do it, Activision, you just screwed up. Anyway, I hope it's going standalone soon, only then I'm gonna throw my money again on the Call of Duty title. It's all great, but how's the performance? Well, I must confirm that it's not really a best port ever created for the PC, but it's decent at least. I'm getting uh, 20 FPS on this configuration, is there a way to improve it or get more FPS? Of course there is. I'm Regis, your host, and welcome to yet another Lost Picks Experience Optimization video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize and improve performance in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster on your low end, mid end, or even high-end PC. So first of all what you need to do is to go to my website, a link will be in the description and all the Lostbix experience. After you download it and install it, uh, simply start it from your desktop, press optimize down here and then select Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster. This RAR installation will load. Now simply navigate to your folder where your game is installed and then press extract. And this screen will pop up and then simply select the method of optimization do you want. I'll select the ultra low specs optimization just because this little poor soul can't handle this game at all. I want locked 30 frames per second at least for the single player campaign. After you decide which method do you want, simply select the resolution from this drop down menu. I'll go with 1080p because I tested it before on that resolution and I just want to lock the game to 30 frames per second and nothing else. I know I can go with lower resolution and get more frame rate, but I really don't like how this engine works when the FPS is lower than 60 and it's varying from 30 to 60. It's not it's just not playable. And I really don't like how this game scales on lower resolutions on my monitor either. If you want lower resolutions to get uh, more FPS, just go with lower resolutions, what can I say? You don't need to select the same resolution because we don't have the same specs either. After you select the resolution, simply press optimize and then start your game. Before we jump straight into the game, I want to show you how to restore your game to default settings if you are not really happy with the results. Simply go to Lowspeaks Experience again and press Restore Default, it will restore your game to default settings. One more thing to note, if you run into any problems while using Lowspeaks Experience, please be sure to contact us through the contact tab and we'll gladly answer all of your questions, usually under 24 hours. Ok fine folks, let's now see if this optimization helped me lock the game to 30 FPS at least. So what were we getting before, like 20 FPS? And now we are well above 35 frames per second, but I lock it to 30 FPS because this game will be rendered on 30 FPS anyway, so you will not be able to see if it goes above 30 FPS anyway. So that about wraps it up for this video. Do like and subscribe if you found this useful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Rangers out, bye bye. Take out the machine gunners in the window so Kamarov's men can storm the building. Come on! 
Mortem from the cliffs. What about the foreman? 